Okay guys, so I'm trying to make a really really quick video on how to make a release because I was double checking the, the instructions and they are not super clear as usual uh, with my case. So let's dive into it. So I have my repository, so I already forked, let's say I already, I already did my project, whatever. And this is uh, the project and there's some steps you need to do in order to make the release. So in my case, I will, I will clone, so this is the last commit. So actually this is the, so you should, you should have everything on your uh, project as well. Uh, so let's clone this. So there are many ways of making releases, let's say. I'm in this case, I'm trying to, I was trying to make it easy for you. Uh, reusing stuff from previous years, but it looks that it's not super straightforward. But after following this video, it should be enough. So let's go to the script release and then let's open a text editor here. And there are some things we might uh, want to, um, to change. And then, so, okay, so the first thing is. I just updated the project. So if you go to the teaching, so if you, you go to the original project, you will see that there is a new uh, script. So I will start deleting this so you can update. So this is a bit easier to read. So there's no more colors, but I think this should be enough. So if you go to the scripts folder, do the release, by the way, here is a, like a small readme that you can actually read and then you can, as usually, you can spend as much time as you want on releases. But for now, let's go to the upload artifacts. And then let, let's copy from here, like the last thing, Done. that's it. So this is the new version of the script release, it's a bit better. So what is this script doing for us? Basically, oops. Uh, so if you see here, so the first part is it will download the artifacts uh, from the last build, and then it will push these artifacts to a long-term archive on your project. So why is this the case? Because or if you use the la latest artifacts, then the release will be always changing. So you need to download some files, say this is the release files, and then deploy this to the, to the server. And this way, if I go in three years and I need to check your files, they will be there. No matter if the CI is running, if you change the project. So this is really, really long-term. And then something that is really, really important is that here there was a change. So here with, where it says shop, from previous year the shop name was build and now it's deploy. So make sure you change at least this key, otherwise you will uh, be pushing the build artifacts that this is not what we need. So the first part is going to download the artifacts and then we will push it. In this case, I am using the JSON parser from the shell command to make it easier for you. So the first step, according to the tutorial, is this. And as you see here, the project ID, you need to use from here. So if you see book here, you will find your project ID. In my case, it's 1180. And then that's all you need to upload the artifacts. So let's run upload artifacts. And now I am downloading the artifacts and then Please make sure you copy this line info to re release the JSON file. So what is this trying to say? You just need to come here, copy, and then on the same folder you will find this release data JSON, right? And then from here you need to change this line here. So make sure you don't use extra quotes. What is basically changing here, here is this hash, that this is where the artifacts are. And then lastly, you can say, okay, the tag name, you can put to 2020 and then, yeah, you can change this afterwards. The most important thing is that you don't lose this hash. So even if you have a typo here uh, on the whole release um, markdown uh, 
uh, text, you can change it. But the thing you need to 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 have uh, um, correct is this hash. If you don't use properly this hash, then you, you cannot uh, use it afterwards. So that's that's it. And then uh, so first thing, you upload the artifacts, and then you will just make a release after changing this. So now you make release, and this should do all the magic. So that was the idea. It's probably a lot of information ah, for me. So if you see this error, it's because you also need to change uh, from upload artifacts, make release here, the project ID. So 111180, 11, sorry. And then this will basically, so before you push the artifacts, one thing you can do is you can check, check the artifacts. And if you see here, uh, artifacts so this is what I have downloaded from my repository so you can check that this is the results bin include and leave folder and then now we're ready to make release da -da 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 -da. boom and then you see a lot of information here you don't actually care what you really care is that you should go here to okay we can close the editor to releases on your repository and here you have the final release. So you will have a snapshot of your source code. Uh, you can add here, wherever. And this artifact save, you can also click. So this is what I am going to do. I will click here, download this. Uh, okay, I already have it. So let's, let's save this here. I will basically download this on my machine and run with Docker. But and then if I go to artifacts, results, this is all you have. That's it, this is working. So it's actually easy. So, but there are like all these steps you need to follow. Other thing you need to do, in case you, you haven't read the, um, the readme, you need to go to your profile in GitLab, settings, I'm somewhere here, access tokens, and then here you just put I know I whatever the name of the token. Don't set this to Spark and then do API. Whenever you generate this token, you will he, you will see here uh, a, a token that is like an alphanumeric value. And on your shell or basically on your bash RC, so something you could do, you can go to your uh, bash RC, and here at the very end you can do export. IGG GitLab token token and here you should have like some like something like this and this is your token and that's basically it so this is the variable that the script is using so as a recap so the first thing you need to do is to get so let's put this here get your IGG GitLab token and put it to your bash RC. The second thing you need to do is to get your repo, so clone your repo. So basically, this is git clone. Uh, and by the way, here after you add this to your bash RC, make sure you do source and then bash RC or source depending on which shell you're using. And then three, you need to change. So this is really important change. Uh, job equals to build for shop equals deploy. In case you don't want to update the script. So the script didn't really change. So this is uh, just like, it's a bit more fancy. And then four, if you so this is optional optional um, copy paste the new version of the upload artifacts script from project template and then five so this video is taking longer than expected. So you need to fix the build for deploy. Then, okay, you run the upload artifacts, artifacts 
.sh and then you copy paste the the hash from there six uh-huh uh, paste down this hash in the release data.json and then seven make release so you run this script and this will do all the magic for you and before i forget so here to again make so change the project id this is also really important for yours right so this is basically all, all you need to do and then i will just copy this into the into the discord channel and i hope you find this video useful bye bye